I'm sure many of you have heard the saying, if not all of you, that curiosity killed the cat. By nature, I am a very curious individual. So with that curiosity, I feel like it's going to end up killing me one day. But today is not that day. Instead, today is the day I decided to head to the forums ran by Funcom for Conan Exiles. I naturally went to the PC bug report areas just to find like-minded people that were discussing the duplication glitch that is currently running rampant on all sorts of servers. And I wanted to read about their experiences. I wanted to see if maybe the, the team that works on Funcom's behalf on the forums or maybe even a dev might chime in and shed some light, maybe bring some optimism to the player base. But what I noticed as I was scrolling through it, I could not find a post about it. I even typed in some search parameters and I still could not find anything about it. And then my brain got more curious. Were these posts being hidden? Were they being removed? Were they being deleted? Were you being banned if you brought this up? With that being said, I made an account. I had to do this for myself. At this point, it became, you know, more of a experiment to see what would happen if I made a post discussing this. As you can see, I will leave this up for a little while in case you're interested in reading what was said in the four different paragraphs. Just, you know, trying to get the point across and, you know, make sure that clearly I'm just talking about an issue that many people are affected by and are probably curious about why there hasn't been a response, a hot patch, and any kind of fix for it, an answer. So, you know, you know the drill. I don't have to explain to you how Funcom is about this. But here we go. So it got some replies. I made this post prior to going to bed and I wanted to see what I would wake up to. And of course, there's no surprise what I woke up to. Greetings, everyone. We are aware of this situation and currently looking into it. Please make sure you report this to our team over on Zendesk. Uh, the copy and paste responses. You gotta love it. Let's talk about the first sentence. We are aware of this situation and currently looking into it. Please make sure you report this to our team. But you just told me previously you're already looking into it. Look, what are we looking into? Are we looking into that if it's actually a duplication glitch, we'll just check YouTube or go test it on, you know, the game you guys released to the public. You could, you could do it that way too. You can read more about how to submit a report here. Thank you for your patience and understanding. And as you can see, they closed the topic and unlisted it. But before we continue on, there's more. I know. What more could I be wanting to discuss? Well, Ra right here who posted, or they are moving to unofficials, which I suspect is the real endgame, the removal of the need to pay server cost. If we scroll up, we notice there's a link. If we go to the link, this post was flagged by the community and is temporarily hidden. Well, let's see what it has to say. Why are you closing and delisting threads like this below? The thread I posted. No one is saying how it's done. It feels like you are trying to silence people and cover it up. That feels very shady. Try fixing the issue and not hiding it from unsuspecting players. If the issue's existence is damaging your game, fix the game. Don't gag the justified complainers. They are your customers just as anyone else. 
respect their voices. Well, I guess hashtag Conan cover up 2022, it'll never take off. But I do like it, and I do agree. But don't worry, if you want to make a post about stuff bought with coins will not craft, they're not going to hide that, you know? They're not, they're not going to hide something like that. None, none, of, none of these posts are going to get hidden. People can complain about anything that is weird, obscure, and just unimportant. You know, minuscule things. But if you want to, you know, complain about something real, eh, eh, you can't. You get silenced. Con- Good job, Funcom. Oh my god, your company is something else. Uh, uh, what, what in the actual... Like, what in the actual... So they closed the topic and made it unlisted, so new people can't see it or find it unless you had the link. And they hit it. And then it just... That's why. That was my answer. So anyone that has probably made a post about this, you've been silenced, you've been hidden, and I, uh, why? I don't understand, like, is it like out of sight, out of mind type mentality right now? Like, hey, (laughs) we know this is a big deal and people have been discussing it and making videos about it and exploiting it on our official servers and even private servers. We know it needs to be addressed. But instead of addressing it, we're just going to kind of like sweep it under the rug, you know? It's kind of weird. Is, is it or is it just me? What do, you, what do you guys think about this? I know a lot of people have had tons of issues with Funcom. I am very, very outspoken about how I feel about Funcom as a company. But this right here, how how is this good business practices at the end of the day let me explain something to you and i'm sure many of you will agree with this maybe some of you won't but if you were to ever release something to the public let's just say a video game in this case since that well, that's exactly what we're discussing you developed a game and you released it and then you found out your game had a very game-breaking bug wouldn't you want to fix it as quickly as possible? I mean, me personally, I would. That's just how I'm wired. I would hate knowing that this is affecting a lot of people. I I would hate knowing that something I released was causing people that amount of grief and stress and just problems. And I'd want people to want to play my game and I'd want to address it in a timely manner. So then they feel like, hey, these people actually give a damn and want to make the game a fun experience for everyone. Whereas with Funcom, over the years, we have gotten the same kind of treatment that we're getting now. We all knew that some game-breaking bug or exploit would happen with this 3.0. All of us knew it that have been around Conan long enough. It just... Personally, it doesn't sit well with me as a company that is just that comfortable with sweeping things under the rug. And this is the community, probably a community lead, something like that, you know, they just, they're just involved with the community, which means they've been told from higher ups in the company that this is just the copy and paste you put in close topics like this, which means they're extremely aware of the exploit that's happening right now. And they even, like, this, the copy and paste is terrible, like I already discussed. They're aware of the situation, but then they're telling us to report the situation. Well, my last video, I talked about how people were reporting an issue of dupers with tons of proof from multiple clans and people. And, you know, weeks will just go by until it gets addressed, if anything happens at all. And probably nothing will happen because you can just easily get away with stuff on Conan and never really get caught for it these days. And honestly, since, since ever really. And then, you know, when I see people get banned for just having 
extremely large bases and spam and stuff. That seems kind of silly to me. Whereas this, yeah, I don't know. What's the point? No point of turning it into a full blown rant. But I'm just curious, have you guys ever posted on the forums? Have you guys ever tried to tweet something at them and then your, you know, your tweet just disappears or your forum post disappears? You magically get banned because you have a legitimate question and concern? Very odd practices from a company to just not want to discuss something. You guys release this patch, we come to the forums to discuss it, and then there's major censorship here. I don't know. Just kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but let me know what you guys think.